because it's your boy Chris with the next. Alright, so I just want to talk about how, um, alright, so they, they've been rebooting shows and TV shows, and one of the TV shows that they rebooted was Fuller House, which is uh, the 90s um, remake, um, update of Full House. And that was one of my favorite shows as a kid because it just it dealt with a lot of problems, but it was always fun. I always wanted a family like that. Um, Full House was a, a good show. It, it was a really good show, just like Married with Children. You know, I'm a 90s kid, so I love all these shows. But Full House is the one that they uh, rebooted, and it has done really well. It's got really good reviews. Um, so it got me to thinking because I was watching a lot of old um, Moesha episodes. Uh, and then I was l looking at a lot of the um, interviews that they had, and Shar Jackson was saying the one that played Nisi, she was just saying like how um, they was thinking about doing something, but a lot of their cast members have you know passed on, and that is true. A lot of them has like four people died. The one of the if they do reboot it, one of the characters that really one of the main characters character that they lost was Hakeem played by Lamont Bentley um, because Andel had already you know closed the den she had went to uh, uh, the Parkers she closed the den then Uncle Bernie was dating dating uh, Andel so you know he they ended that or whatever then Ohaji which was played by Merlin Santana, which was Brandy, um, Moesha's first boyfriend's, you know, he, um, she was already messing with somebody else, so, you know, they kind of ended that, but what I was thinking, and they left us off on a cliffhanger, 2001 was not a good year, uh, we lost our girl Aaliyah, rest in peace, 9-11, it just was not happening, um, Mariah Carey's Glitter came out, didn't do good. You know, a Mariah fan, as well as a Brandy fan. You know, Never Say Never, that album, her first album, Full Moon, uh, put that on everything. It's one of my favorite songs. So, um, but, um, all right, so follow me here. So, I was thinking they could reboot it, they could leak, they can continue where they left off. Moesha could narrate in the beginning, she could say, um, that okay so how they went to go find Miles they went to go um, they went to go because uh, Miles got kidnapped they could uh, you know reboot it and say you know she can narrate in the beginning saying that uh, Hakeem went to go find uh, Miles along with along with Uncle Bernie and Andell they was driving in the car uh, Hakeem you know got out the um, Hakeem went to go drive his own car to go find Miles in a, a secret hidden place. Um, Uncle Bernie and Andel got killed in a car crash on the way. Then Hakeem could, you know, go and find, you know, Miles, and he's all tied up. And then Ohaji pops up. Then Ohaji, in uh, Ohaji felt some type of way about Moesha not dating him because he was really in love with her, so he kidnapped um, Miles. Then Mal, uh, Ohaji and Ohaji and Hakeem could get into a fight, and then Hakeem uh, Ohaji shoots Hakeem. Then uh, Moesha Moesha uh, what was uh, Kim's character name? Yeah, Kim, Moesha, Kim, and Nisi could just you know run up at, and run up in the spot, and then you know she she'd be like, "Oh my God, Hakeem got shot!" And then you know they all, and then uh, Oh Haji is about to turn the gun on Moesha because she didn't give him no play. Then Miles is um, secretly untied, and then he has a gun and he shoots um, he shoots uh, Oh Haji in the back of the head. And Ohaji dies, and then you know they go on to um, they go back to the house, and then uh, Dorian and D Dorian D and Frank Frank could be like, "Oh, that's my son, Miles. Where you been?" And then and all of this is narrated, so 
that way, I mean, it won't be the same without Hakeem and all the other players, but this is how they can reboot it while they still have a you know, chance. You know, everybody's still mainly – Everyone has got older, but, you know, they still have a chance to reboot it. They can do it that way, and then they could, uh, and then they could carry, uh, the new episode, because remember the reunion episode where Moesha was dating that white dude? She, uh, he could come back. Um, Andrew Keegan's character, I forgot his name, the character's name, but he can come back. Him and Moesha could have, you know, some kids, or, because, you know, interracial relationships is popping now. It wasn't really popping in the 90s but now it's popping and more acceptable than it is back then so they could you know they can continue that could be like the first new episode and then uh or they could just you know pick up where they left off because Moesha could be still single or whatever and he uh and then Cube could come in because you know he's he been feeling he just got out of jail he's been feeling some type of way about Moesha and then him, and then um, Andrew Keegan's character, uh, you know, they can get into a fight, and then Moesha try to break it up, and then Q accidentally slaps Moesha, and then Frank come out and be like, do you slap my pumpkin fucker? And then they can get into a fight. And then they, um, they could probably bring back Moesha, like, on cable, so that way they can cuss. Or uh, not too much cussing, you know, you still want to keep it upper class, but... You know, you want to just, I mean, everybody's even got older, so, you know, things will be different. Yeah, so that's kind of, <laughs> you slap my pumpkin fucker, bam, and then <laughs> beat Q's ass, because he still feels some type of way about Q. Q was a street thug. Yeah, but that's just my um, take on how they can bring a reboot Moesha without replacing all the um, other characters. Because, like, on The Simpsons, when, uh when uh, Edna Krabappel's character died they didn't replace it, they just read her out the show and I think it would be disrespectful for them to um, you know, replace Hakeem Cause they could uh, say Hakeem had a long lost son and then that way he, he could um, he could be eating up all of Mitch, uh, the Mitchell's food uh, yeah, they had, Hakeem had a long lost son you didn't know, you know before you know he died he had a long lost son you know and that way they could fulfill that void without um uh, replacing any of the characters and yeah bring back him you know i would like to see it i mean if they're gonna do it right you know do it right but if you if you're not then you're just gonna have to leave that for him it was um yeah they should do something because a lot of people we want to see something you know it's not about a white and black thing, obviously, but, um, yeah, that was one of the black shows that was played back then, and black TV was popping. And, you know, it would be really good to see that because, I mean, we it left off on a cliffhanger, so, and then they were supposed to resolve it on the Parkers, but that never came to fruition, so, you know, we want to see something. You know, everybody's still, I mean, the ones that are still here, they still, you know, kicking it for a cool minute um still living still you know doing uh, other projects so to say brandy has her show zoe but we want to see moesha um d's character is on uh shirley ross she's on uh instant mom and william l and parker is on nypd not nypd blue some detective show but yeah all right, so that's my take on a Moish reboot. Um, you can tweet this to them, share it, like, subscribe, because, uh, you know, we really want to see something. You know, uh, yeah, tweet, like, subscribe, share. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Now some mo to the e to the, oh, what? Mo to the e to the.